Hello, fellow humans, and welcome to How to Ruin Someone's Day by Simply Being Too Good. Sort of. Now, this is the Chieftain Mark VI. A very good tier 10 heavy tank. Now, the only thing this thing is really lacking is premium penetration, which is only 310. But outside of that, it's got the DPM. It's got good alpha damage. It's got great accuracy. It's got 10 degrees of gun depression. It's got very good mobility as well. And the armor, it's fine enough if you keep it moving back and forth. That's the thing about the Chieftain. The armor is good if you're good. But if you just sit there, you're going to get pinned on the cupola. You're going to get pinned through a turret. The lower plate as is with any vehicle, is a weak spot, so can't avoid that. But with the turret, if you hide it, if you wiggle it back and forth, you can get avoid. You can avoid getting shot relatively easily. So now this is a really weird situation because we kind of swap spawns and you don't really want to be here ideally because this side of the map's not really that great. But then again, the enemy team, they have moved about two meters from their spawn, so eh, there's not much going on here. Now, here's the thing. Game intelligence is literally the most important thing besides also being able to peek fast and besides tank knowledge. You need the game intelligence to know what's going on, right? You need to identify, is this team capable or not? Now, my team's completely falling apart right now. It's a 4v6. So what I have to do essentially here is to reduce guns, right? What you want to do here is reduce the amount of guns that the enemy has at their disposal because guns do damage and damage is ouch and you don't want ouch. Make sense? No? Good. So, 4v5. What do you want to do here, Ali? Let's make it a 4v4. So, in this case, if you're in a disadvantage, you want to go for the kills. Because they do matter quite a lot here. Now, they did sort of let us get it back, but now the Sheridan's a one-shot, and the type is getting pummeled quite a bit, so the hit points is very much on the side of the enemy. I still have full hit points, which is very good to have. In a situation like this, you want to preserve your hit points, I don't want to peek any like horrible peaks or anything that will cost me a thousand hit points because that would then severely limit my chances of winning this game. Now, what does limit my chance of winning this game, if you've probably already seen it a bit, is that I'm having quite a bit of a wargaming moment server here because I have about 200 ping and quite a bit of packet loss. Now, this issue, if you're having that on the Steam version, like your internet's fine but you're having packet loss and, and something like that just restart steam that will fix it basically um but i hadn't done that at this point now unfortunately i don't know what the the 60 people was thinking because he just rushed into four people like all he has to do is just back off and play up here right face the enemies one by one he did exactly what you are not supposed to do the worst thing you can do in a stage like this is Try to play Rambo and rush in and fight all of them at the same time. That is the worst thing you can do in a situation like this. Back off. You give yourself space. Because at this point, space is life. Well, not out outer space, but game space. And now, 1v3. Can I win this? Of course I can. Now, same rule. If you watched my videos before, how does it go? Easiest target, most dangerous target, everything else. Took out the easiest target. That was the ammo. He was right in front of me and it was easy to pet. Poof. Now, what is the most dangerous target between those two? Well, both of them now. But what I do here, I just peek him. And I get very lucky there because the chieftain hits the observation device. Now, what was that? Look at how slow he was. Look at how slow he was. Like, I had the full time to reload. He just peeked out sideways and didn't shoot. And now, the same here. I load the hash. I just peek and I yank him. Like, that is it. Give yourself space and just be faster. Right? And also be lucky with that shot into the cupola because that would have pretty much spelled the end of me if that would have gone in, obviously. But otherwise, it's a Kolobanov and an ace. Which is unimpressive to play, but an impressive result screen nonetheless. But in terms of playing it, it was quite unimpressive. Because all I did there... As I got out, I gave myself space, and I was faster. And I knew what they were doing, because I knew that they were slower than me. Now, what do I also know is that the 113 is a quite underrated vehicle and only really lacks gun depression because it has 6 degrees, but it has 3,400 DPM, 420 alpha damage, very solid mobility-ish, and good armor as well, especially on a turret. The front can be pinned relatively easily. The side is flat, so side scraping is somewhat possible, but... Wouldn't really recommend that. It's also very long, which is kind of a downside. And because it makes it obviously easier to hit. 
But this is not my replay, which is why it's going to be played much better. Sort of. Um, but, uh, no. Um, yeah, I don't know. My, my play style is literally just... Mate, I'm better. Shut up. Which works if you actually are better. But I don't recommend it to, to a beginner at all. So, try to play a bit more thought out, a bit more conscious than I am, ideally. Now, in this case, the bat chat's doing the exact opposite. And no ducky here. Which is a nice replay, by the way. Thank you for sending in these replays. If you want me to feature your replay, put them on my Discord server. Link to that is in the description of the video. Check it out. Upload your replay. I'll feature it. And, um... The ping's not great here either, apparently. But, uh, here we go. Now the object is just sitting out in the open. He just fired. All the, like, what the right course of action there is just reverse into cover. But he doesn't. And these kind of things are the things, if you see that guy doing that, you know, he ain't that competent. If you start learning what it means to be better and worse, you know how to identify the worst players. And like I've always say, easiest target first. And because you, ideally you can run away if you can't run away from the most dangerous target, right? If the most dangerous target, let's say it's a TVP, it's rushing at you and it's going to clip you. You can't do anything about that. If there's a one shot 268 next to you that can shoot you and will kill him because he's not going to shoot you. Can't avoid the TVP, can't avoid the 268. Avoid damage. That's why you take the easiest target first. Um, because obviously it's the easiest to kill. And so, at that point, you have the biggest advantage because then you have to deal with one tank less. Now, I have no idea what the E100 is doing because he's about neglecting some of the ba most basic rules of Blitz. First of all, he's slow, which means no ducky here can peek out, aim, and reverse without the E100 doing anything. He's also not within anywhere of cover. He's just standing out in the middle, out in the open. He has no chance of getting into cover within the next two or three th seconds, which is ideally what you want if you're fighting someone. You always want to have a way out uh, or a, an option of cover. Now, in the E100's case, he gets lucky there because his best cover is the 113's lack of gun depression. But the only thing that happened in this game, really, and it was very static, but all the... This was just... I mean... Nothing against no ducky here, but most of this damage wasn't done via skill, but was done by simply exploiting enemy incompetence, which is a skill of its own, obviously, but that's the thing here. It was just exploiting enemy incompetence. Look at how slow he is. Look at how long he takes to aim, and then he still misses. So if you can do better than that, ideally, obviously, I have to say, full crew, full equipment, full uh, things helps massively, obviously. That is clear, but to be fair, get good and use those that aren't good to get games like this. Bye.